Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect PS4 DualShock wireless controller to your TCL TV. Play Fortnite using PS4 controller and also your PC. Make sure you watch this video till the end, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now for those of you who are looking for cheap alternatives than the original one, this clone or copy of PS4 DualShock wireless controller is really worth its price tag. The color and design of retail package is different. I just bought this for just over $25 and these are the best clone controllers I found so far. Build quality material is nice and smooth, almost same durable and strong as the original. Every feature on this will exactly be the same as on the original one with a little bit of compromise. Well you don't need to worry about that as far as its price is concerned. The only differences you can tell is by the clicky sound and the sensitivity of the triggers and joystick. There is a USB cable supplied. Actually on the box it was written, not included. Well, that's a bonus. To connect your PS4 DualShock wireless controller to TCL Android TV or any T Android TV box, simply go to Bluetooth devices in settings and then turn on pairing. While on your DualShock controller, press and hold search and PS button until the LED light starts blinking. From there, the wireless controller will appear on your TCL or Android TV. From there, the LED light will stay on. This means the connection is complete. You can also play games that are supported by touchpad. To play Fortnite using PS4 wireless controller, simply go to Fortnite controller settings and then choose PlayStation 4 and then apply. There are two ways you can connect PS4 controller using PC or laptop, one using Bluetooth and the other by using a cable. While using USB cable, it will also charge the controller. The computer sees your controller as the standard wireless controller to make it work like the PS4 controller on your gaming PC and customize LED lights and settings. You need to download and install Steam. Once 
Steam is installed. You don't need to install any drivers. Just head to Steam settings and configure PlayStation 4 settings and customize lightnings. That's it. My recommendations on cheap PS4 controller. Well, if you want to compromise for the battery life, 600 milliampere rather than the original 800 milliampere, and you are also willing to sacrifice for its short lifespan, I suggest you go for it. But if you are looking for best quality, then go for the original. I hope this. I hope this has been very informative for you. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. See ya.